Bethany, welcome to today's video. So I have tried to film this little intro thing like 45 times now. I've been so busy running around all day that, you know, when you get like so busy, like you can't breathe right. So I've been like, every time I do it, it's too fast. I like trip over my words. So hopefully this one is good. But like I said, today we're looking at the daily for September 17th. And I just really wanted, you know, to plan out the day and have all the details available for today. I'm not doing every single day in my daily anymore, but there are again, several days that I do use it. And this is one of them. So let's go ahead and dive in. Today I'm using kit 12 from Alexander Nicole Plans. This kit is so, so gorgeous. All of these roses. It's just super beautiful. I love this color combination. All the colors are so vibrant but still has like a nice and like a quiet calm kind of fall vibe to it still so i'm really enjoying it what i'm going to do is use mostly this i also do have a couple other stickers that i'm going to pull in this one is from ever changing plans and it fits in nicely to make this long area into kind of that again hourly hour by hour area and i'll also be using these checkbox strips from Orange Umbrella Co. They just always fit in the plum paper so, so nicely. Again, they're formatted for this planner specifically. So these are super, super great if you love a good checkbox, which I do. All right, so probably the most exciting thing I think that's pretty fun this week is actually I'm working with Alexander Nicole Plans now to bring you some fun and exciting PR updates here and there. So I do have a discount code for you and that is Bethany 20. I'll put that in the description box below as well, of course, but get you 20% off at Alexandra Nicole plans on Etsy. And this is one of my favorite shops. I love everything she makes. So I was just so excited when we connected and uh, we're able to, like I said, bring you this, bring you this discount here. So that is awesome. Like I said, this is probably the highlight of my week here so far. Otherwise, things have been just really, really busy. And it hasn't been like overwhelmingly busy at work. It's just, I feel like there's just a kind of a lot going on in the world right now. The kids start school, that kind of thing. So it's just been kind of a little bit harried, but working our way through it. I don't know what to do about that seven. Do I need seven o'clock, right? That's kind of the question when he's like, <laughs> see, he's just like hanging out there. What What would you do? Say bye to seven o'clock, tuck it under the washi. I don't know. I'm probably going to, probably just gonna slice it. Otherwise, uh, one project I'm working on is kind of my fitness lately. I just finished filming yesterday the um, video about my fitness add-on, so I think that one will actually be up before this one is, so I'll put a link um, up in the cards, but that is, did I get that crooked? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Darn, I don't know if I wanna change it, hang on. All right, so I straightened it, but I also warped the paper a tiny bit in doing so. That's a me, a me issue. Gosh, don't you hate it when the stickers go down crooked? And you're like, oh my gosh, now what? And uh, it's never, never a good time. But I really, this is my favorite part of doing a kit in the Plum Paper Daily is just making all this like gray go away and cover it with something really pretty. I don't know that I would do the colorful. This is a neutral, that's why it's gray. Um, I don't know that I would do the colorful just because that would be, again, I think it would be like green shading. I don't know if that's any better. It'd be a little brighter maybe, but I know I would still wind up covering it to have it all match. But yeah, before my crooked sticker interrupted me so rudely, I'm focusing on my fitness more lately. So I've had fun kind of getting back in the swing of things and some participating in this challenge my gym is doing. So it's just been kind of fun to back, get back to health a little bit. Okay, these are my favorite because they've got this little pattern on them. So I'm trying to think maybe I'll put those here to kind of come across. Little Phoebe update, she is doing pretty well. She's sitting beside me. She had a little piece of bologna a little while ago, so it's kept her kind of quiet and happy um, while I'm filming this, but she's definitely doing way better, way better. Like she was struggling hard the first few days after her ACL surgery, and um, now she's doing much better. She's just uh, 
hanging out and keep me company here while we do this. Okay, I think that's looking pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna put check boxes um, for sure here and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. It's always, this is this and this are usually question marks for me until I get to the last minute and I always like it, I always use it, but I definitely don't have a way that like I always do it a certain way in this daily. I almost always do it differently. I don't think there are any two days that I've ever done identical. Um, I do themes or certain things that I generally like, but as far as having like a rigid, this is always the way, I definitely do not have that. And I think that that's fine. Honestly, I like it that way because it's flexible and I can change things as I need to. So let's see. I think I am going to do, let's do meals. This is from a freebie from Alexandra Nicole Plans from a little while ago. And I think I'm gonna do meals and workout down in this box. Let's do the today's schedule up here. This will just be a checklist for to-dos. And the kit actually came with a meal sticker. I know, I love this one because it's so big, <laughs> but I wonder if this will look better because it kind of matches. I don't know, I'll switch it out. You can let me know if I made a mistake. I should have left it as a bigger one. I do think it's kind of funny, the uh, the pressures that we put ourselves in when we make these uh, planner spreads, how we're so you know meticulous with it. And it, I don't know, I found that it can like make or break, not my day, yeah, it's a little extreme, but I definitely, if I have to look at something that's crooked or off, or I don't like it all day while I'm checking stuff off, it will bother me and it's so silly. And I don't know how to get over that, but it is something that, occurs i don't have a good solution to it i guess i'm just gonna put today i think i'm gonna put probably the weather up here under today and i do like too that with these kits there is morning afternoon evening and this is really great because what i will sometimes do is i'll split up like again morning afternoon and evening here or just morning and afternoon so these i will all commonly split up like that so i always do um like that those are there as well Okay, I'm gonna put this is important. Let's do work important. Yeah, that's good. This will be work and important. And there'll be another checklist there. All right, checklists are down. What I did for work is I put two rows of checklists. And sometimes I like to do that for my work to do's because I do a check mark for if I started it and then check mark for when I finished it. Because sometimes I notice that when there's a big project ahead of me, it helps to first break it down to smaller steps, but then also give myself credit for starting because sometimes getting something started, at least for me, is the hardest part. And so just that little check box to get it started is enough to kickstart me into saying, okay, I know it sounds daunting. It sounds like a big, just start it, just start it. And then at least you can check off the checkbox that says you started it. And then honestly, usually that's enough momentum for me to finish whatever it is. But I, I just like doing two rows sometimes for that purpose. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is go in with pen and finish writing everything out for the day. And this is almost done. Right, so here's our finished spread. I'm really liking how this turned out. I love the double checklist. I love all the little icons. And I kind of like that all the icons, the little things I use are all black and white. I don't think I've ever done that before. It's like purely black and white, just, you know, scripts and icons and stuff like that. So I think this is super cute. A couple of the other icons I use, this one is Pipple Mom Plans for the sun. Dumbbell is Pipple Mom Plans as well. This little checklist is Sammy Doodle Designs. And of course the kit is Alexandra Nicole Plans. Um, this little hockey guy, I got him on Amazon. It was one of my first sticker purchases um, way back last year. And I don't remember like where I got it or what it's called. It's just a little hockey, hockey sticker from Amazon. So yeah, that is all I have for today. Hope you're having a great day, great week, and we will chat soon. Bye guys.